Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, and welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom, where today we talk to you about how to plant some onions. So I got these onion plants from Johnny Selected Seeds up in Maine, and we got two varieties of onions, Red Zeppelin and Alyssa Craig Exhibition Plants. And these are some onion plants. They actually come, let me show you, they come in this little box here, little hole in them to breathe. And when you get the plants, you wanna keep them out of the sun. You wanna store them in a cool, dry place. Don't put them in water, follow the directions. We are ready to plant. We wanna get these in the ground quickly. I've already done three rows here, so you can see what my rows look like. Now let me show you how to plant the rest of them. So I'm gonna show you some of the little things that I do in my own personal garden. And some of this, some of you may look at and say, hey, I would never do that for various reasons, but I just like to plant this way. One of the things I use is this plastic mulch. It really helps to keep weeds out. I'm incredibly busy. If I don't use this, inevitably I get too many weeds. So it's really a time saver for me. You can see we put it down around some of the onions already. And it's real easy with onions because you basically just cut a slit and put the plants in. In other areas of the garden, we put a hole and then we actually put the plant in. If you're gonna plant seeds, you can also do the same thing, just leave a strip when you're planting the seeds. So you can secure it down with landscape fabric ties. You can buy these at any garden center. I keep them year to year. You can see how rusty they are, but they work for a long time. So let me just quickly put this piece of landscape fabric down and then we'll plant. Each row of onions should be spaced 12 to 18 inches apart. The individual plants should be about four inches apart. But here's the caveat. I plant mine two inches apart, then I use every other one for green onions. In other words, I don't let it mature to get that bulb at the bottom. I use the tops in cooking and in salads. The best soil for onions is a sandy loam soil, and that's what we have here. It's very, very easy for me to work this soil. I'm just gonna take my individual onion plants. We're gonna space them two inches apart and plant them an inch deep. Remember, the reason I'm planting them a little closer together is because I'm going to use every other one for green onions as they mature. So one of the great things when you buy the onions from a place like Johnny's or any of your other favorite stores, often there'll be directions in there. So make sure you follow them. And one of the things you'll notice here is that it really does like a pH of 6.2 to 6.8. So you could have your soil tested to know what your pH is. That's important. And then augment as you need it. Also, remember, we talked about the sandy soil, and also a lot of direct sunshine. So this is in a very open spot in my garden. So I don't have 100% sunshine. I'm not a farm, although I try to be here. So I have to plant the onions, which really love sun, in the sunniest spot in the garden. And that's what they get. This is the sunniest spot in my entire garden. As the onions mature, the greens will grow and then eventually start to die back. When they get to be about 25% brown and start to fall over on their own, that's an indication that it's time to harvest. So after the tops die back and you pull them out, let them dry, and then you can store them. The best place to store them is in a cool, dry spot, very close to freezing. If you don't have that, which I don't, I put mine in the basement. And mine last year lasted 10 months long, still firm. Be sure to check them every few weeks after you harvest them to be sure none are rotting. If they are, just discard them. By taking these steps and ordering some healthy plants, you'll have onions all season long. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.